Howdy, how you doing? I hope you're doing well. I'm doing well. Mohammed D here. So we're at this interesting point as a player um, where, um, well, in this game, you know, everything's falling apart, <laughs> you know, um, and um, people are leaving, and uh, there's all kinds of, uh, well, there's no unity, right? There's no glue. There's no glue, uh, you know, holding holding the unit together. Uh, in my opinion, well, well, the glue was, was uh, Dutch in a way, but the glue for Dutch was Molly and Hosea. Now Molly's dead and Hosea's dead, and because uh, they were the only things motivating Dutch to um uh to get out to get out you know to, to get to a, uh, a a place where they have a traditional life you know where they can live in peace you know um um with their uh their ill-gotten gains but you know buy some land get a house you know the only thing driving dutch uh towards that was molly and hosea and they're dead so now Dutch is without a compass, you know. Well, no, he's not. The, his compass, unfortunately, is Micah, and Micah's uh, pointing him straight to hell. You know, you know, you know, Micah doesn't doesn't have a compass that is gonna, you know, point him towards uh, redemption in any way, shape, or form. It's just the road to hell, and uh, so that's the compass on. Uh, that's the direction for. That, that Dutch is getting now. He's no longer getting any influence from Molly or Hosea. And um, so you're at a point in, in the game as a player where um, you either prolong things, you know, and just, you know, free roam, um, or you push ahead. You know, let, you know let's, let's get to the end. I... You know, you, when you play a game that has a definite ending, I mean, that's usually the purpose. The purpose is, well, let's end it, you know, you, but this is different. This one is different. Um, you're not, you don't have a common enemy that the whole world is fighting against to defeat, you know, and, and there you beat the game, you know. No, this one, is the enemy is within, and the enemy is within each and every character, you know, that's where the enemy is. And so you don't have that thing where the whole world is coming together, like in XCOM, for example. Uh, uh, you get to the point where everything is lined up and you can assault the alien's mothership and beat the game. Uh, but you don't have to, you know. You can continue to free roam, if you will, um, uh, in the form of continuing to scan for enemy activity and you know and the enemy and it, it pops up and you can continue to just uh, doing uh, uh, missions and there's a lot of satisfaction in that because at that point all your soldiers are maxed out and uh, you, you you know it's a it's a lot of fun to uh, to be more powerful than the aliens because up to that point they're more powerful than you and it's 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 you know it's a struggle but now you're the powerful one uh, so you can at any time uh, decide to assault the mothership the alien mothership and end the game that's not the case here um, there's so much more depth in this game uh, you know the, all of the uh, the challenges you know that you can do right now and uh, all of that sort of thing so you can go I'm thinking well I can go in that direction but but me I like games that have a, an end so I have two choices here. You know, so I can free roam and continue to um, um, discover things and gain things or push the story forward. And um, what I have decided to do, what I want to do, be, you know, it's just me, you know, is I want to push the story. You know, you know what? Um, it's, it's painful uh, to, to see... Um, um, Arthur uh, dying and uh, and to, to continue you know playing um, him in that condition <laughs> it, you know it hurts man it's you just it, the whole time I'm just oh man oh man oh man you know 
you know, and all of that. And uh, so I think um, I just, when I'm, I'm still undecided, man. I think what I'm going to do is push it, man. I'm going to push the story. And uh, because it gets harder and harder and harder um, for there not to be spoilers, I, I, I don't know how anything could be spoiled for me at this point. I mean, as a player, you knew at this point that Arthur's dying. I mean, so, okay. It's just, okay, how? Um, how? Um, you know, I think, you know, Mike, you know, Mike has got to got to go. You know, we got to get him. You know, Mike has got to go, and Dutch probably has to go. But, um, you know, I don't know. I, I don't know what, let me get, uh, I should probably have my ears on, and because I, I can't even hear. Um, and uh, get my eyeballs on, and get my big head out of here. And um, let's progress it. Let's push it. That's uh, what I want to do. I, I can't. I can't just free roam. Who did we just shoot? We just shot somebody. <laughs> I, you know, I, I think the free roaming part, for me, is better done as an experienced player, like your second playthrough, uh, third playthrough, because this is the kind of game you can play five times, six times, you know. Uh, it's to try and get everything done, you know, get things done that, that you, that you, uh, that you are better, uh, able to do when you are experienced, you know, and so I think that's best left to, uh, that kind of stuff, the discovering this and discovering that, and, uh, you know, accomplishing this rare feat and that rare feat, you know, getting rare horses and all that kind of stuff. I think that's better left to another playthrough as an experienced player. I really do, uh, for me, anyway. Let's see, where did we leave him? Excuse oh, we me. were... Excuse me, but I need some money. I fought in the war. <laughs> I fought for you. Uh, let's see what we have on the map. I'll, I'll stop flapping my jaws. Um, I lost my horse. You know, that's another... Oh, here we go, we got John. So we're gonna do John. I was gonna do John on the last one as well you know charles and john but you know as the game that is so good at doing it throws a monkey wrench in my plans so let's go we'll progress here and, and john um because i got punished for um <laughs> for trying uh, to to uh to free roam and uh and, and go and find those those carvings you know that uh you know, my son had given me a map with, that has a location of those carvings on it. And uh, for a blind playthrough, that's kind of, uh, could be seen that, well, that's cheating, you know, um, you know, to know where those are. But I don't know how in the heck anybody could find all those carvings unless you had somebody give you a, a map of, of where they're at. I mean, you would, you know, play this game forever and never find those things if somebody didn't tell you where they were. So, um but I got punished because I lost my horse. I lost my white Arabian. You know, I say, oh, okay, man, you wanna, you wanna, you wanna cheat and 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 use a use a, a map to show you where the carvings are. We won't take your horse away from you. Anyway, so we ended the episode. But I'll, I'll take a quick break. Uh, smoke them if you got them. We're gonna head for John, aren't we? Did I put the mark on there? We'll head up here, and that, that really is the only thing I can do, it looks like, to advance the story. So, I don't know. This might lead us... Uh, this could be it. Smoke them if you got them. I'll be right back at you. All right, let's get on with it. Let's get, I say... Give a fella a hey, nickel. boy. Give me a dime. Give me something. Why? What are you going to do with it? That's Bye. a fine house. Thank you. you want to get a drink. Yeah, I just want to get a drink. That's why I said, why should I give you money? You know? I was just thinking about the change in Arthur. Yeah. 
mister. You know, and it, and uh, in the beginning, he reminded me of Alert. <laughs> okay, Alert. Uh, <laughs> he reminded me of a, uh, reminded me of a, yeah. like a one-year-old German Shepherd. You know, one-year-old German Shepherd's got size. He's not full-grown, but he's got size and he's got strength. You know, he's bigger than a lot of dogs and he's stronger than a lot of dogs. He's more capable uh, than a lot of dogs of handling just about anything, but he doesn't know it. You know, in his in his mind, um, where we can go with here? Uh, we'll go with the pump. Just. For like a protection against raiders and we can bring the bolt in case we see some uh, good animal and um, you know he's he's uh, in his yep. brain a one-year-old German Shepherd is still a puppy you know? and that was Arthur in the beginning because he doesn't know who he is. He doesn't know what he is. Just like a one-year-old German Shepherd. Doesn't know what he is. It gets to the point where he realizes, you know what? I'm the alpha here. <laughs> you know, in this pack. Yeah. And, uh, all of a sudden... Little things that used to scare him don't scare him. Ah. No? Okay there, boy. Someone show kindness on a man with no sight. Help the blind. Earn your fortune. Maybe earn your fortune. Him again. Maybe today is the beginning of the end. What did I say? What did I say we were gonna do? Help a blind man. There you go. This could be it. This could be the last one, ladies and gentlemen. Bad news awaits you, sir. Oh, great. Sadly, sooner than you think. But beyond the news, Paradise awaits. Paradise. Okay. I ain't too sure what to make of that. Whoo-wee! Hot okay, diggity fella. dirt. This game. This is a good game, man. Wow. <laughs> so. Ah. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, no more looking for horses. No more looking for pelts. No more discovering this, that, and the other thing. already passed. I would have liked to watch the train one more yep. time. Alright. He said bad news. What happened? I got off the path. Oh, I said, oh, this is where John is. We're already here. Alright. Well. Oh! I didn't know he was that close. Yep. Marston, we've had very little dealings with you, sir. Arthur. How you doing? Nervous? But I've been nervous for a while. The bridge to nowhere. I had nowhere. a lot of time to think in that jail, and I feel like I just don't know Dutch no more. You ain't the only one. And this plan to get us out, it just feels... I don't know. Like he's stringing us along, I know. 
Killing <laughs> cold blood, revenge. We all do bad things, dude. Dynamite. He seems to enjoy Fire. it now. It's like he just wants to create more enemies, more chaos. Yeah, I know. I mean, I love Dutch. He saved me a long time ago. I feel like in Saint Denis, when I got arrested, maybe he could have done something. I feel like you should take your woman and child and get lost. Do you? Yeah. You can. Uh, you could give something to Jack. Hey, Stider. Well, I don't see no way out of this. Well, what about loyalty? Be loyal to what matters. There you what go. are you gonna do? <coughs> I'll be okay, but do it for me. It would make me feel good if that makes any sense. A little, yep. but listen to me. When the time comes. You gotta run and don't look back. This is over. And now? Now we gotta help Dutch give the army one final tweak on his nose. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, come on. Help me with the rest of this. Well, it looks like we finally found our calling in life. Hold down A. Let's ride this thing out onto the bridge. A this is part about a third the of the way down. across where we can get down underneath to plant the charges. I've already set up the detonator. Sure. Let's get this over with. You hear about first? Nature calls and I need a break, and they lit a cigarette. We're about to light a cigarette, so I need to smoke them if you got them. I'll be right back at you. All right, man. I I can't believe it. We are Dutch and Cornwall. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. More enemies, more chaos. I mean, we're about to blow up a bridge for Christ's sake. Well, that's not something you do for Christ's sake. Something you do for Dutch's sake. I I'm not doing this right. Got the rhythm. I gotta get the rhythm. I can't get the rhythm. I can't get the rhythm. Okay, good. good. Thank you. <sighs> we sure got a lot of this stuff. Get the first dynamite we'll crate. It. Um, well, uh, um, I'll, I'll climb down there. You lower the crates. All right. Let me know when you're ready. Uh, um, pick up. Oh wow! Look at that. That is so. Look at the ready water. You are. Got it. I'm at the bottom of the ladder. Here to your left. That's the spot. Lower it from there. I'm ready. Come on. All right, take it slow. That's not something we want to drop. Alternate. Come on. Down here. Okay, good. Grab the other one. This is that frustrating thing about this game is for me is the, the, the buttons, you know. Look at that waterfall though. Golly gee whiz. Alright, that is just too pretty. So LT RT rotate uh, alternate. Okay, let's go. Nice and easy. Alright. Look how all right, God, come so down here and help me play with this stuff. They put you in these tense situations and then you have all this beauty. Also, are you coming? So you I'm just totally distracted by the beauty. Okay. Grab yourself a bundle from the box. Pick up dynamite. Pick up dynamite. I got it for the bridge guys. is wired to the detonator. We need to attach each of those bundles to the fuses. There's one on each of the main support beams. Okay. Pick up some 
dynamite. Come by. If they don't do the job, nothing will. <laughs> You're not gonna believe this, but this is making me think. I got a story. Oh no. <laughs> do I have to do another one? Are we done? Shit! I think I hear something coming, Arthur! Uh, Train! Arthur, get up here quick! Okay! Return Back to the up, handle. Buddy, come on! Shit! Arthur! A train! Come on, quick! Pump this stupid thing! As hard as you can! Let's go, let's go! Just get to the end of the bridge and jump! Heck! I'm terrible at pushing that thing! Okay. Before I do the retry, I got... I got to tell you a story. I, I, maybe I should just... Let's just go ahead. I'll tell the story later. About something similar to this, only on a kid's level. I don't know how to push this stupid thing. Let's go, let's go. Just... I'm never gonna get this. I'm never gonna get this. I'm never gonna get this. Maybe I should restart the mission and get more practice with this A. Pump this stupid thing as hard as you can. I am. This is... Let's go, let's go. Just get... I told you. I, I don't know how to pump it any faster. Maybe I should restart the mission and learn how to hit this A button in time. I can't. I, it's, uh. Pump this stupid thing as hard as you can. Let's go. Let's go. Damn, it just won't go any. I don't know how to do it any faster. What am I doing wrong? Skip checkpoint. Restart mission. Alright. Alright, let's focus on this A button. Pump this stupid thing as hard as you can. It won't, go, it won't go. go. It, I'm pushing it. Nothing's happening. Is my A button broken? My A button must be broken. I am pushing it, but it wasn't lighting up. Pump this stupid thing as hard as you can. Let's go, let's go. Just get to the end of the bridge and jump. Get ready to jump. It's right on us. Come on. Jump. I made it. Thank you. No problem. No problem. <laughs> that just ain't how I want to die. No. Come on. Let's go blow this thing up. Follow John. Okay. I think I tell the story now. So when we were kids, oops, hold it. We were kids. I we would watch uh, movies, you know, war movies and stuff like that. And and whenever there was an explosion, they would always do it in slow motion, and you could see the the parts of a building, you know, flipping off in the sky in slow motion, you know, that. Like. And so uh, we decided to to replicate that. So 
<laughs> we built a village out of popsicle sticks, right? We saved all our pop. We, we'd eat the popsicles in the summertime because it's real hot. And so you, uh, you, we saved all the popsicle sticks and we, and we glued them together and we made little houses and um, little buildings uh, complete with doors. And we even made doors uh, on the buildings with popsicle sticks and we just glued them. We made boardwalks, you know, like a sidewalk made out of made out of wood, like, like in the game here. We made a little bridge that went over. There was a, um, um, we did this at the elementary school of all things on a weekend uh, when school is out and um, uh, <laughs> so nobody's there, right? And um, there were trees uh, planted, you know, elm trees. And around the elm trees was a trough. You know, they dig a, a circle around it and they would fill that with water to water the trees. So we had built wooden bridges across the, uh, the trough into our little village, like around the trees. And then there was a, um, a sand dune slope on the back of the playground, you know, and then there was a fence, you know, the chain link fence went anyway around the school. But there was a slope down like this, and it's sand. It's a sand dune slope, but it was hard sand, you know, crusty hard. And so we 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 dug little holes into the into the hill, and put some of the houses up in these up in the holes that we dug in the side of the hill, you know, the little slope, you know, like this. And and so we set up this village, and we're gonna blow it up. Yeah, and uh, because my friend was just, I want to, I want to see, I want to see the the doors flipping in the air because he's thinking it would be in slow motion. So we had um, uh, firecrackers. <laughs> my friend's dad, I mean his his family had gone down to Mexico uh, where they could buy and you could buy firecrackers. And uh, so we had this string of firecrackers, and what we did was we we tied the fuses together so that they were all of the uh, the firecrackers were linked like like what, what they're doing here. Uh, so we we twisted their fuses together, and then we took a bunch of other ones and we and we pulled all the fuses out of a bunch of them, and we made a big long string. A few uh, with the fuse. We tied the we tied all the fuses together. The fuses are only about that long, about so long. But but you tie them together and you make a long string of fuses, right? And so then we have to light this thing. So we had all everything uh, wired up together, just like this. So that like uh, one firecracker would go off and, and it would cause another one to blow and another one to blow. Chain reaction, chain reaction. We set up and. Uh, <laughs> But we wanted to be far enough away from it when it all went so that we could watch it. Like like we're watching a movie and, and in our minds we're thinking we're going to see the whole thing in slow motion like you do in a movie, right? So what we did to make a time fuse was we used a cigarette butt. We found a cigarette butt somebody had tossed, right? Uh, you know, uh, cut the filter off of it. And then we stuck the the end of the fuse, which is the beginning of the, the fuse that would go all the way down and light off the chain reaction of the firecrackers. We stuck that into the cigarette and lit the cigarette so that the cigarette uh, butt would burn slowly enough and wouldn't light the fuse until we were far enough away. So we get far enough away. We're back by the buildings at the school. And, this, and it worked. It worked. So the cigarette butt lights the fuse and... It goes down the fuse to the first firecracker, bam, 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 and they all just went in a chain reaction. <laughs> but it went in real time. We didn't get to see anything except dirt fly. <laughs> they had just all this dirt, you know. I mean, the popsicle sticks uh, houses blew up, but it was all, you know, in real time. We did, and he was my friend was so disappointed. I didn't get to see the doors flipping up in the air and all stuff like that, right? <laughs> So all of these firecrackers going off because we had built, oh my gosh, there must have been eight or nine houses. And like I said, boardwalk and a bridge, all of this stuff blows up and blah, 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 blah. a bunch of firecrackers going like, bah, 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 bah. <laughs> please come. <laughs>
because we were we went up to inspect it. We didn't leave right away, right? So obviously the police are going to be alerted by all of this, you know, all these firecrackers going off. And so, but we didn't think about that. Just like me looting, and then all of a sudden the sheriff show up, right? And he said, "What? He, he shouldn't have been looting. We should have ran off." So we we go up to inspect it all and look at the, our handiwork, and then we hear the siren, right? It's like, oh, the police! So we take off running, and there's one cop that was fast. Uh, usually uh, we could outrun any cop, you know, but this guy was fast. <laughs> <laughs> and he's on us, man. He's ch he jumped out of the truck and he's he's chasing after us. You know, as more cops show up, so we run along the fence line. And so there's a chain link fence like this, and then there's trees, you know, on the inside, you know, and the school's on this side. So there's trees, and then there's a chain link fence. And so we got in a row of trees behind the trees, so that you know he couldn't see us. You know, he knew where we went, but he couldn't see us. And we just sprinted full speed down to the end of the fence, you know, where it corners like this, jumped over the fence, and just blasted out into the desert as fast as we could. And we found a ditch, ditch out there. We we ducked, we laid down in the ditch, you know, and. Uh, they patrolled around, but they never saw us because we got we dug in. You know, we basically dug ourselves a foxhole. You know, and it was already a ditch there, and we just dug, 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 and we we just crawled into these. <laughs> and so the 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 police the police are patrolling the area, but they they know they didn't catch us. All right, that's that story. Uh, <laughs> all right, let's get. Here? Um, I think the line held. You want the honors? Sure. Sure. What do I do? Use it. A. Yeah! Just like that! I guess old Dutch got all the smoke he wants. Well, let's hope so. You really think that that'll draw attention away from us? No, I guess we'll see. Tell the truth, I ain't even sure I fully understand Dutch's plan with all this. Because it's Micah's like plan. Said, John, when the time comes, you go. What about loyalty to, to everything? You've been loyal. I've been loyal. Look what that cost. You know, everything. all that ever mattered to me was loyalty. It's all I knew. It's all I ever believed in. Yeah. Well, not anymore, John. Soon, you gotta go. Go. But don't look back. I'll think about it. I've done a lot of thinking. Look at us. Out here risking our necks and for what exactly? For an idea that don't work no more. How you mean? You know just what I mean. You got a family. You need cash. You need to start building a life for yourself. Me? I need a vacation. Hey, square to eat. And Dutch has all the money. God. For safekeeping. You know something? Abigail thinks she might know where some of that money is. Okay. Well, you tell her she better make sure. And then come talk to me. And we'll find out just who and what we should be loyal to. I don't know, Arthur. Nor do I. Here we go. But I'm seeing things a lot more clearly now. I wish things were different. But it weren't us who changed. Yeah! <laughs> <coughs> 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 <coughs>
That's it, there's nothing. Nothing. That's it. I see a yellow D, Dutch. Is a mail here? I don't think I can pick mail up here. There's mail flashing. And there's Dutch. I could have sworn, is, it, is this not flashing? Back in camp. Dutch needs to speak to you. right up on Where are the people? I'd be doing this.
what is this? Is this where those guys were that we uh, we got the um, yeah this is where we, um, we we got rains fall rains falls um, um, thing back I, I, I don't know what he called it a chanupa or something like that. We just snuck in and took it. We didn't. We didn't kill anybody. But they're gone now. That looks like dynamite. It is dynamite. I never got to see the whole camp. I didn't come in from this side. Interesting. But they're all gone. Very interesting. Time to go, boy. Yeah. Seems empty, doesn't it? <clears throat> As we approach the end. Yep. Say don't do it. I don't 
don't know what kind of spoiler it could be. I mean, we're done. I think. I don't know. Maybe we're not. I didn't read any comments on the last one. There have been... Um, several episodes where... Uh, I don't read the, the comments, but my sons don't allow me to. I mean, I've got, you know, four sons and my nephew. There's five people working diligently to delete spoilers, and they have uh, set up uh, keywords uh, that will block uh, comments with keywords in it. That could be spoilers. I mean, they've done a lot of work. I mean, they spend hours... Making sure I don't see spoilers. But then, uh, I guess I didn't have uh, Amish as a keyword to block people talking about him. And uh, I, I just don't, I don't see how anything can be spoiled at this point. I mean, we're done. Boys. I mean, I'm not the most experienced player, but I'm experienced enough not to fall for your stupid ambushes. You guys are just as dumb as you always were. time when you could have taken me by surprise there, but that time has passed. See your old ma again. Meet us on the road out of Butcher's Hover. Bring one cooking pot, two bags of grain, coffee, whatever you got. The harm will come to your old lady, Walt Murphy. Jeez. Pure evil, Here. huh? Let's go, boy. Yep. Get away from me! I'm gonna get you! Run! Run! 
There we go. This guy again? Let's see if his tune has changed. I mean, I've tried to help this guy so many times. Be gone. Be gone. I... Be gone. Be, Be gone. Be... Is his tune changed? This is total madness. I know it is, but I can't stop. No, I, I can't. I'm feeling very abandoned, you know, very ignored. Because I haven't talked to you the last See, three times I, I saw I you. I asked for, for, for a message, and he gave me the whole world, but no signal I can understand. All these, all these people, and, and none of them quite right. That's very frustrating. The, the whole world. Wasn't that enough? No. It wasn't enough. It wasn't enough at all. That's a problem. I'm so... I'm so greedy. I'm... Well, I'm glad we got that straightened out. I'm awful. Well, he seems to be coming, uh, coming around at least. All right. I think before we get into camp here, I want to. Take a break. Join these, uh, these views. I'll be right back at you. Ah, it's been a incredible ride. It's been an incredible ride. Here we go. Check. I hope people don't fight anymore this morning. Ah, long dead. How you doing? Confused? Worried? What's happened to all you boys? Just keep your head down for now. I guess. There's the snake. Morgan. Miss Grimshaw. You okay? <clears throat> sure. Mr. Bell seems to have found a couple of men he knows. They're sitting over there. Really? Dutch seems fine with it, but it feels odd to me. Yes. Very odd. So Mike has taken over. You making it through this? I'm doing decent, yeah, I guess. Not food. Well, that's good. Oh, let's eat. Why 
America has taken over. He's bringing in, bringing in his own people. Anybody talking? Read any of them. Beg your pardon, Mrs. Adler. Not even Charles. They all got their heads down. These three did. Bill and uh, Javier and Micah on one side. All right. So why are these two still here? Old pals of Michael. They're getting real comfortable. We need guns for what's coming. Cleet and Joe know how to fight. <clears throat> it's lucky I bumped into them. What is going on, Dutch? What is happening to us? What's happening to you? You show him some respect. Here it comes. Excuse me. Mr. Vandalin! Mr. Morgan! Charm! They try to kill my people for oil! For oil! Today we ride once more. Ride with me, ride with us. Ride with us against the factory. I love your courage, son. Jeez, it is a thing of doing? great beauty. Stop! Everyone, stop! Chief. My son, my last son, don't. When I was your age, I fought. I saw death. I have killed. The men I knew were slain. My firstborn, your brother, had his head smashed by a drunken soldier. My wife had her throat slit. I made peace. I knew not to trust, yet I had no choice. Maybe you were right. Maybe the slow death is worse than the fast one. Maybe none of these men are good. Maybe a world in which they came to us is a world that we cannot endure. But endure we must. Father, you are tired. Do not die for pride, my son. We have suffered too much in this trick. The earth, the water, they have no pride. They endure, and we must endure. My only boy, my precious boy, do not mistake my strength for weakness. As your chief, I implore you. Your words mean nothing to me, father. Don't. Ride with me, now! Stop. Please. Made his choice, didn't he? Stop. <laughs> made his choice. Please, Mr. Morgan, after you helped me after we spoke, this is just a trap. My son, my people, will Come all die. Look at him. You help this fellow, Arthur? Please. Yeah. What of it? What else you been doing behind Dutch's back? Shut up. What? The wars are over. We have lost. These young men will be annihilated. Please. I'll see what I can do. Charles. Who else will come with me? Oh, I'll ride, Arthur. Who knows what other secrets I'll learn about. Who else? I will. And me. Me too. Oh, and me. Oh boy. I guess. No mic. All right. Guys, Let's ride out. <laughs> what else have you been doing behind my back, Arthur? I was trying to stop this mess from getting any worse. Maybe that didn't work. Why the hell would they attack the oil fields? What do you mean? It's perfect. This was your idea? Partly. The army, the government, the industrialists. They've taken everything from these people. Wouldn't you want to fight back? You've handed them a death sentence. Just like John if we hadn't got him out of that prison. Hey, show some goddamn respect. You'll know when I ain't showing respect, Bill. 
I had a plan. I still have a plan. What plan? What goddamn plan, Dutch? Tahiti! Hey. Timbuktu! That's enough! What's wrong with you all? What happened to loyalty? Yeah, what did? Thank you, Javier, Bill. Right now, it doesn't matter how we got here. These men need our help. I have a plan. This is the plan. So either stick with me or cut loose. Because I am tired of this constant descent. Long tired of it. Now come on. Is that why you didn't want me to do Amish? This? divided <coughs> so we have a troop here that is divided Bill Javier Dutch one side and we have Arthur Sadie Charles John not on the same side look up ahead it's one of them are you all right son Eagle flies he needs help. They all need help. Quick, somebody help him. No, us. no, go. Please hurry, help me. Come on! Yeehaw! Massacre. We gotta help these men. And anyone see eagle flies? There. Going across the walkway. Still fighting. That what you wanted, Dutch. You coming, Arthur? I'm gonna try and save him. This fight is unwinnable. If you go and distract them and let me get to him. Have it your way. The rest of you, ride with me. Let's meet up at the factory. Let's ride! Yeah! Go with him. Try and help there. I'm better off alone. We're riding with you. Come on, dude. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> We're riding with you. Save. We need to get the Eagle Flies. Come on! Oh, I want to have a Lancaster. Find Eagle Flies! Look out! Oh, man, there's a down up there! Oh, shit, this whole place is going to go up. How many of you just... I gotta figure this out. 
this out. Let's find Eagle Flies! We need to shoot those bastards out of the tower! Where's that coward? Charles, go! Go, Charles, go! Come on, man! Red! Get up! Thank you! All of you! We need to go! Where are my men? Where are my men? We saw some fighting by the factory! That's where Dutch is gone! Let's go! Quick! Any men we see, we must save them! Let's find the others! We need to get to the factory build! We'll kill all of you! Are you goddamn cowards? All of you deserve to die!
So good of you to join us. Hello, son. Hey. Saved your life. You did. Hey, you're quite the hero, Arthur, ain't you? Just a regular good guy. Same as always. What is it with you, Arthur? What is it? I don't get you. I don't get you no more. Oh, the doubting. The doubting. Come on! Get him out of here! All of you! Come on. Let's go finish things. Finish what? Oh, the doubts. You know why I wanted them to attack this place? I have no idea. <laughs> Javier, you get them and you go. Until I find all my men. I'm not leaving. As you wish. Rest of you, get out of here. I'm staying with you. We're getting our ticket out of here. More what? We need to find the office. It's upstairs on the other side. I broke in here before to get those papers for Eagle Flies. That's better, Arthur. A little help. Come on, son. What are we looking for? Money, you fool. The money. There's state bonds here. Lots of them. I thought you were paying attention. Old Cornwall had a deal with the state. He was being paid to develop the region against the federal government's wishes as they didn't want problems with the Indians. Anyway, so if we get it, we're done? We're almost free? Yes. If we're right, we've had tough times, the toughest of times, but come on, don't doubt me no more. Search the place, they gotta be here somewhere. I don't know. I've been here before. Check that cupboard by the door. The cupboard by the door, which is where, sir? Oh, here. I got some cash. How much? I got him. I got him. I got him. This is it. It's state bonds. How much? It's a, a few thousand dollars worth. Maybe more. <laughs> oh, we are nearly there. Arthur, we're nearly there. Mr. Morgan? 500? Let's go home. 500 bucks? Let's bucks. get out of here, Arthur. Yeah. <laughs> 
You silly fool! Come on! You saved my life more than once. To give mine for yours, it says it should be. Come on! We need to go. You. You, you ran away. You. Oh, I did no such thing. Don't be a fool. You. They could be back here any minute. We did it, gentlemen. Well, we got some money. And with the train job... <coughs> Can I kill him? We got a whole lot Kill him! Of he money. left you to die! Kill him! Come on. Kill him! Everything is coming together. Let me kill him! Exactly as I kill planned. Him. I've got to take the boy to his father. Uh, as you wish. Usually uh, he is you, nowadays. How do, you, how do you let him get sure. away with, with, with that? Come on! We got to get back to camp and prepare. He ran Let's out. Ride. I'll be back when I can. I'll stay with you. And me. Of course. And so will I. No, get out of here. Please. This ain't gonna be nothing nice. Be safe, Arthur. All right, come on. Let's get him to Wapiti as fast as we can. Hold on, my friend. Our men. Uh, we must go back for the bodies. We will. Save your strength. My friend, I'm sorry about this. About all of this. Hey, wait for me. Catch up, Charles. Okay, stick with us, Arthur. Like you were saying before, you have nothing to be sorry for. You know, Dutch, Dutch is... I guess my thinking is he used you. He wasn't trying to help anyone but himself and his own crazy principles. We're grown men. Nobody made us do anything. Maybe I'm talking for my people as much as for yours. We saw he turned crazy and, and we couldn't believe it and we followed him anyway. They should never have gone this far. You seen the situation on the reservation? Better to die fighting than sick and weak. Maybe, but you, your people deserve better. You okay, Charles? Not really. All this death, and for what? Just so we can have enough money to be able to run away from what we've done? There used to be some... some reason to it. Lines that couldn't be crossed. We even helped some folk. Those lines have been gone for some time now. The time has come for us to draw our own lines, Arthur. Decide where we go from here. I swear, back there... Dutch just stood and watched. If it wasn't for Eagle Flies, I'd be... I know. Easy! I feel like he's descended into the kind of man he told us never to be. Look, as Eagle Flies. It's the Chief's son. I think he's been shot. Oh, no. He is wounded. Bring him to me.
My son. What are they gonna do now? They must move. And fast. I'll stay and help them. I'll stay too. No, my friend. You have others who need you. Good people. Charles. Well. I'm sorry, but we we must pack and move. Hilfe brauchten. Und jetzt können wir sie nicht retten. Aber, aber... The German family was safe with Charles. again this better be it this better be what Dutch needs to speak to you looks like a train wreck our best selves Welcome back. Most people who leave Ansberg that long don't come back. What were you looking for today? So don't get above your station. You know, I could make a few adjustments to that. Get it right the way you like it. I think it already has been adjusted, sir. You don't have to keep it the way I sold it to you. I can make a few changes to fit you if you like. Guns are beautiful machines, but if you want to use them, you might need some ammunition. I can make a few changes to that weapon if you'd like. Make it fit you perfectly. 
Bush there. Yeah. As much as I used it, Telling me that it's clean. <sighs> You've kept that weapon looking as nice as the day you bought it. Well done. Perfectly maintained. I love to see that. Uh, I don't know how they're uh, maintained. Apparently they are. So, that attack on Fort Wallace. They're saying it was Indians. Thanks. Well then. Sounds like I heard what you heard. there too just me and pain i told you not to go out bear hunting you was never no good at your food i'm a great hunter I caught on the wares by the trap is all well, your it's trap? you hmm. my friend this guy is your mysterious savior uh, howdy i was just telling my friend here about how i nearly died out there one night Ooh, sounds like quite a tale here's an idea Gunsmith's a friend. Pick out what you want, and I'll pick up the tab. Hmm? It's Jenkins. Ooh, yes, indeed. Anything for you, buddy. Anything. You are nothing if not generous. That's kind of you. Thanks. You're very welcome, friend. All the best. Well, he did save my life, after all. I probably would have gotten it open, but I said it so right. It really got me. Uh, are you taking credit for the quality of the trap? I'm just saying that Welcome. How do you do? Thank you for your help. Dealing with all these derelicts will get you down. I'm sorry to hear it. Stop not. Hey, friend, what do you need? Man in town named Jenkins owes me. Said I could put something on his tab. Jenkins, huh? All right, take a look around. Science will 
David. Not God. Not dream. But knowledge. Knowledge is the only hope. And knowledge starts with the eye. We don't need too many eyes to see that we are doomed unless we change our ways. We are throttling the So note it. You have a good day now. See, Francois. The air bubbles. The sky is grey. What, what's up? I'm just deep in thought. think about. Yep. I mean, it's all very obvious. Struggling for his life, an inch from death with that knife coming down on his heart, Dutch walked out. Smoke him if you got him. Finally get the best repeater at the end of the game. Let's, uh, let's make sure that thing has got... 
56. Dumbass. Mr. Morgan, to what do we owe the pleasure? <laughs> uh, two brothers. Back to normal. so crazy, Morgan. Shut up. I guess folk are real scared. We'll be fine. We always have been. Now Dutch will see us good. I hope so. What's Cleet? Not you as well. Another fella doubting them? You know, I thought... I thought more of you, Morgan. Side you're on. Ah, you paying us a visit, Morgan? Well, at least you ain't you run off. Side of camp, have you? Cross the Great Divide? Apparently so. Cleet and Joe are good boys, Arthur. I rode with them a long time ago. Best thing that could have happened to us, really, me bumping into them again. Best thing, right, boys? Yeah, sure. Now, Arthur's. Arthur's a kind of sullen, angry man, and. He ain't well. Not well at all. Sad, really. But what can you do? Um, I can't get my gun out. I gotta die sometime. <laughs> mm. You know, once, uh, once all this gets shaken down a little, calm down, we're gonna get, we're gonna get going on business, boys. Good business. I got good ideas. Mm, me and Dutch, we both have. We've talked about Australia. It's an amazing place. More land than you can imagine. We'll go someplace good. Dutch has got plans. Good plans. Can't do anything. He has. He don't want me to do anything. I ain't about to greet him. You think you're the cat who got the cream, don't you? Maybe you should go lie down, Black Lung. But you're nothing but a conniving weasel.
What you talking about? Pearson left. Old uncle. The traitors. Both gone. At dawn. Traitors? They said to young Tilly you they were running traitors? to save themselves. I think Mary Beth left as well. So it goes. They are goddamn cowards. Arthur, cowards. Of all the time we spend to run off. Well, I guess they don't want to die, Dutch. Ain't nobody gonna... And this is a tough time. And you ain't, you ain't doing too well. But we, our community, we will survive. They will not crush us. I hope so. But if we let Jack and the women free, well, then there maybe we no can... freedom for no one in this country no more, Arthur. One more big score, we got enough money to leave. All this turmoil has the army and Pinkerton spinning. We take a boat and slip away. I don't know what you're saying, Dutch, but it seems like I've heard it all before. Just yeah. one more and train. And a goddamn train. Arthur, <coughs> this is different. We know this is full of cash. Army payroll, money and supplies to repair the bridge that you blew. This is all going to plan. We rob Uncle Sam and we leave. <laughs> the poetry of it all. What do you think? It sounds wonderful. Hell, yeah. I ain't got much to lose, but you know, the women and the children and John and his family. I'm afraid I have to insist. I mean, we gotta let them go, because if the Pinkertons come through again, they will kill everyone. John? Insist? Insist? Yeah. Insist. Yeah. Of course, pal. Whatever you think is best, I will. See to it, huh? Now, are we gonna rob a train? Sure. There you go. We will survive. We will flourish. We have work to do, my friends. Let's go. Come on. We are gonna borrow a little money from old Uncle Sam and be out of his hair once and for all. He insists upon it. Yes, he does. Let's ride out, gentlemen. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Arthur finally finding some self-respect. Okay, let's pick up the pace. The train is due in San Denis in an hour. We're robbing a train in the middle of a city? No. It's going to stop there, take on mail and water, let off some boys heading home on leave, and then it heads out. They know the bridge is gone, Black Lung. There'll be a patrol past Annisburg, waiting down by the river to collect the money. We sneak on quietly, and then we got a short time to stop the train before it reaches the patrol. Why can't I kill Micah? John, you go get that dynamite. We'll meet back up outside of San Denis. I'll go with him. As you wish. Come on. It's this way. I hid the wagon down here after we blew the bridge. This is one big goddamn group of us to be riding back into San Denis. Yeah, I heard the Pinkertons have pretty much taken over Van Horn. Moved a whole heap of men in there. Things are closing in fast. Shit. Should be just through these trees. There it is. <laughs> I'll get the dynamite. No, I can do it. You sure? I'm fine. Okay, it's in the back.
Got it. All right. Let's get this done. No point in putting this off any longer. So listen. Agreed. Abigail just told me. The money? It's hidden in the caves at Beaver Hollow. What? Yeah. So much for never hiding it near camp. Dutch was getting even sloppier than we thought. Are Abigail and Jack ready to leave? I think so. Okay. Whatever happens with this job today, <laughs> wherever Dutch and them go next, we're getting you the hell out of here. We're going to get you the money you need. <clears throat> Knowing the three of you got out, well, maybe all of this will still mean something. Tilly and Susan, too. Really, it's deteriorating. I'll do whatever it takes. So You've always had my back, Arthur. Well, uh, perhaps not always. Anyway, here we go. One last train, Arthur. One last train. One last ride. Miss it. I am gonna miss it. So long as it isn't Guam. Oh, it'll be paradise, son. It's all coming together, Dutch. Just like we planned. Is that okay with you, John? Arthur? Or do you insist on something different? Yeah, I do. Sounds about as good now as every time I heard it before. Oh, Abigail must be real excited. All packed up like she is. I could just see her in the little grass skirt. Don't talk to me, you son of a bitch. Boys, boys, okay now, let's keep it down. We don't want to draw attention to ourselves going through here. Nice and easy through town, fellas. Ah, uh, San Denis. It's good to be back. Happy memories, huh, John? Will you shut up, Macker? That's enough. Quiet. All of you. Man. Anger inside of me. Not much further now. I am mad. I am mad. Hey. He thinks he can get to the tropics from Chicago. He's going to take the Erie Canal. And I'm just trying to. I'm trying to lighten it up a little bit. That's all. Trying to lighten up my own mood. Get angry, man. Easy. Easy. All right. What's happening here? Cleet, Sadie, you board halfway along. John, you and Arthur are gonna board at the back. Rest of you, follow Mike and I, and join once they stop the train. Here she comes. I ain't stopping. Should I just sneak on now? Yeah. <laughs> Everybody mount up. We're <laughs> going through this. Of course we are. Fine. Fine. Come on, Arthur. We got to get on that train. We can jump on at the side! Goodness gracious. Jump, Arthur! You okay? Yeah. Money's in the front carriage. We gotta push forwards quickly before we run out of track. Thank you. 
get to the next carrot! Damn mouth! 
the blip. Look out on the right! move. Where's John? I tried. Yeah, you did. I tried. He didn't make it. That patrol killed him. No, it we had to up. run. Come on, let's go. Before another patrol Sorry turns up. Cuss. said I'll go get him. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. You let him die. What about Abigail and Jack? <sighs> great. Just great. As soon as Dutch said that he would take care, he'd go get John. As soon as he said it, I knew he was 
do it. You know? You know, it's just so full of anger right now. They came and took Abigail. I saved Jack. We hid, but they took Abigail. Who did? Agent Milton and his men took her to Van Horn to be put on a boat and tried for murder. I am sorry to hear that. We no. gotta let her go. John's, uh, well, sorry, son. Without John, she's just bait. We got a bunch of money, Dutch. She's just a girl. They won't do nothing to her. But me and the boys know. Yep. We need to keep riding on this one, Dutch. You know it. Every man here knows so we it. we just gonna let the boy be made an orphan? It, it ain't like that. What is it like? I wanna live, cowpoke. I still got the choice. Dutch, it's just a girl. You're right. Dutch, uh, Micah, uh, it pains me to say it, Arthur. But he is right. Touch! Come on, boys. Yeah! Scum. Well, I guess that's that then. All them goddamn years. Come on, Arthur. Let's go get her. You and me is all we need. Yep. Yep. Miss Tilly. Here. Take this. <clears throat> you take this money, too. Take Jack, and you wait at Copperhead Landing for Abigail and Mrs. Adler. Thank you, Arthur. You're a good girl. You live a good life now, you hear? All right, Arthur. I'll... I'll miss... Me too, sweetheart. Me too. Jack, come here. Be brave, son. I'm gonna go get your mama. Mrs. Adler! Ride with me! Ah! If they're putting her on a boat, they'll probably dock at the north end of town. So I reckon we should go in the other way. Sure, I guess. I don't know. Oh, God, those goddamn bastards. Look, just follow me, okay? We're gonna get this done, Arthur. Yes, ma'am. He don't care if he orphans his friend's child so long as he gets rich. All his goddamn talk all them years. Seems like it was always a lie. Or he went crazy. What a mess. Sure. Guess he began to believe he was God or something. I don't know. I'm sorry you got dragged into this. Into us. Listen. If you hadn't shown up in my house that night, I'd be dead. And even this bullshit beats dead. I thought I could find a way to get John, Abigail, and Jack out of this mess. To give them a life. Seems I left it too late. If we could still get Abigail, maybe her and Jack will be okay. John, Hosea, Mac, Davy, Jenny, Sean, Lenny. We have to put an end to this. <coughs> an eagle flies. Another angry fool he used just like he did with the rest of us. Like I said, Arthur, we don't need him. We're gonna make this right. Me and you together. Yes. What's left of it. Now come on. Hold up. All right. Okay, here we are. Let's ditch the horses and come up with a plan. I think you should cover me and I'll go in there and get her. Look, that's why you're Because you're the better shot, I mean. That ain't what you mean. I can still fight. I know, Arthur. But just do it my way, honey. It's for the best. Get up someplace high, like 
the lighthouse or something. <sighs> and cover Can't me. Can't even bring the guns I want. Please. Okay. Get. I bring a brand new rifle, and I don't even get to use it. I bought a brand new rifle, and I can't even use it. Uh, which window you want me at? Oh, up higher? Jeez Louise. Uh, which window? Up? We're still going up. Oh, for crying out loud. Okay, Mr. Milton. All right. Where are you? There you are, you bastard. Can I shoot now? Let me shoot! I can't put the rifle down to see. I got I gotta look through this damn scope. God damn bastards. Move, Sadie, move. Shoot that. Okay, Mr. Milton. I guess we're gonna have to talk this out like gentlemen. Alright, wouldn't let me shoot.
Mr. Morgan. That's quite a cough. Sure. Tuberculosis. I'll be dead soon. And you with me, Mr. Milton? You'll be dead, sure. But I'm gonna be just fine. We offered you a deal, Mr. Morgan. You should have taken it. I'm a fool, Mr. Milton. Not all you boys have quite so many scruples. Old Micah Bell. Micah? You mean Molly? Molly O'Shea? Sweated her a couple of times, never talked a word, had to let her go. Micah... Bell. We picked him up when you boys came back from the Caribbean. And he's been a good boy ever since. Okay. Okay. Let me kill him. No, no. You're losing your strength, Mr. Morgan. You're still a yapping dog, Mr. Mill. I'm trying to grab him. Grab him, grab him. Better go, Abby. Horrible man. Come on, both of you. Wow. <laughs> We're clabby. Oh, he's, he's so weak. Find the horses. We need to get the hell out of here. What happened to Jack? Where is he? He's fine. Tilly's got him. What the heck? Give me my gun. Thank God. You ride mine. Get on, Arthur. Get on. Where's my horse? I can't even equip the. I can't even equip the rifle. It's got to be pistols. You'll be okay. God damn it!
do anything. It's all right. Jack is here. Oh God. Ladies. Shoot the horses. Hold up a moment. Where's my horse? Arthur, there's no time. There's time. What happened to John? Where's John? I, I don't know. Come on. Come on. Arthur. He... What? He got killed or he well, got captured. No. I'm really sorry. No! Abigail, I'm, I was on the train and I didn't see it. No! Listen. We got Jack. He's safe. <laughs> Mrs. Adler will take you to him. But, John, I want you to know this. He loved you. He loved you, and Jack, he did. He wasn't perfect, but he did. Now, you gotta go get that boy. Come on, get out of here. What? Arthur, what are you doing? I gotta go have a little chat before I get much sicker. No, Don't you owe Arthur me. Neither of you two. Not now. You both know. <clears throat> You're good women. Good people. The best. You go get that boy. There'll be time for sorrow later. If you're headed back there, Arthur, take this. I don't need it anymore. What's that? There's a chest in them caves, in the back to the left, hidden under a wagon. Duchess chest. All our money. I know John told you I knew where it was. <sighs> Abigail Roberts. Wow. I always was a good thief. That you was. <laughs> Go on, get out of here. <sighs> <clears throat> If you'd done it before he worked yourself into the grave. I'm really sorry for you, son. It's a hell of a thing. And all you can do now is decide the man you want to be for the time you have left. May the wind be at your back. Good fortune to your head. Cards lay out a straight
Get them bags packed up quick, Miss Grimshaw. Come on, all of you. Well, we're doing our best. Hurry. We ain't got long. Hurry. We just got plenty of time, Micah. We all need to have a little chat. Black Long, you're back. Hooray. <coughs> I just saw Agent Milton, Dutch. Abigail shot him. She's okay. Not that you care too much about that, you wretch. All of you. Seems old Micah was pretty close with Milton. What the hell are you talking about, cowpoke? You talked. Lie. That's a goddamn lie. Dutch. Dutch, think of the future. Milton told me. <laughs> and you believe him, Black Lung? You believe him? It all makes sense now. No. It damn well doesn't. Ooh. Dutch. Think. Dutch. Be practical now. Dutch! John? John! You left me! You left me to die! My boy. Uh, we got some backup. I didn't have a choice. John, I didn't. You! I didn't have a choice. You slapped me! All of you, you pick your side now because this is over. All oh, them years, Dutch, for this snake. <laughs> oh, be quiet, cowpoke. Be quiet. You live in the clouds. No. You be quiet, Mr. Bell, and put down your gun. Right. There's Pinkerton's coming fast. Hey, let me shoot now. Who amongst you is with me? And who is betraying me? It's all about you, isn't it, Dutch? Well, I'm here. Think for yourself. Oh my goodness. They're going with him. He's lying. He's lying. We know that. Put your guns down! God damn it! Move! You ready, John? Yeah. Everyone. Some bold action. The lich field. Get down! This is easy. Go. I gotta move. Stay with me, Arthur. Are you all right, Arthur? I'm with you. Keep going. 
Come on, Arthur. With me. Coming as fast as I can. Abigail. Abigail's safe. So's Jack. Where are they? It was Sadie. The Copperhead Land. Thank you, brother. I want you to not look back. Like I said. Down there, I'm dead in five minutes. I got a family. That's more important. Uh, maybe you're right, but uh, you want the money? You head down. I gotta go to my family. Uh, Arthur, just make. I'm coming with you. I'm gonna get you out of this bullshit if it's the last goddamn thing I do. Thank you. Ah, oh, shit. Let's go. We need to find higher ground. Don't worry about them. They'll just be going back for the money. We need to get the hell out of here. Out of breath. Shit. <sighs> well, let's get up this cliff. Here you go. Come on, Arthur. Keep pushing! They're climbing! Who's gonna show on them? Oh, scratch it! Coming for you, you bastard! Hey! Look out! Get behind a rock! God damn it! They're everywhere! Get out! Ah! Put me all down! Need to get out of here! Okay. Let's go! I'm not behind you. Come on, we need to get going! Uh, come on then! <sighs> come on, come on, come on. Don't, don't. All right, Arthur, come on, let's go! You go. Keep pushing, Arthur. No. <coughs> no. I think I've pushed all I can. Come on. You go. We ain't got time for this, not now. We ain't both gonna make it. Go. Now. I'll hold them off. Give him a 
<laughs> it would mean a lot to me. Please. There ain't no more time for talk. Go. Arthur, go to your family. Arthur, get the hell out of here and be a goddamn man. You're my brother. I know. I know. Winning and losing. Oh. 
gonna reach that gun you ain't you lost my sick friend you lost it's my best efforts to the country it turns out I won come on It's over. Oh, Dutch. He's right. You know it, and I know it. He's sick. He's dying. He's <coughs> talking crazy. Come on, Dutch. Come on. Let's go, buddy. We made it. Come on. <laughs> we Get won. Up. Get up. Come on. John made it. He's the only one. <laughs> the rest of us. No. But I tried. In the end, I did. Come on, let's go. Can't we can make it. Not like this, no. Come on, Dutch. Come on. That was close. Too close. We brought that trouble on ourselves. Uh, smoke them if you got them. I'll be right back. 
Man, I sat outside for a long time. <laughs> for 15 minutes. Phone's ringing. Uh, I don't know. I thought I, I kicked the shit out of my head. I mean, I... I punched him three to one. Easy. Yeah, I don't know. Really was expecting to kill him, you know. Yeah. And uh, not, not the end enough. Was expecting. And uh, then it says a few years later. So I guess we're not done. Let me get my big head out of here. I see what they got. I mean, we're looking at uh, what looks like Arthur, except the scars tell you it's John. There was a passing of the torch there when Arthur gave his hat. Shoot, I'm going to choke up. Um, he gave his hat to uh, John. Uh, that horse dying and his farewell to the horse would have been a lot more meaningful if my favorite horse hadn't died yesterday. Uh, I, don't, I don't know what I'm talking about, man. I think I need a couple days off. But let's see, it said a few years later. It didn't stop, so... What I thought was the ending was really anticlimactic because we didn't get to kill Micah. And then, then Dutch did not go with Micah. He just turned and walked away. Just turned his back and walked away. All right, let's... By we, you mean me. The one, me who went and shot him. Seemed like he deserved shoot. I'm sure he did. But I've been thinking, ain't it about time you stop being the man making them decisions? I'm trying. Are you? I think so. I gotta find some place to lay low. Keep quiet. Two years later. Maybe Dutch was right. Maybe we should have just gone to Tahiti. Is that it with you? <sighs> Tahiti, you're killing? Come on, John. Please try. Try what? We gotta live somewhere for more than just a few weeks. See, that's. That's what I was talking about in the intro with um, Molly being the glue for Dutch. Not for the group, but for Dutch. That's what she thought she wanted was what... Who is this? I can't even think. Uh, Abigail is talking about that's all, that's all Molly wanted. I guess... I don't know. Keep going here. I mean, in a way, Arthur gave that to these guys. He gave, he fulfilled, I don't want to say promise, but that's what it was. The promise the Dutch was 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 uh, given on to him, putting on to him. Arthur made it possible for them to uh, to fulfill that promise, you know, that we're going to have, a, we're going to get out of this, we're going to have a normal life. And uh, Sadie also, I mean, he he set them up. Arthur Arthur set them up for success. Okay. Let's see what we can find in, in strawberry. Oh, my God. What do you know about strawberry? I know they like good, honest, hardworking men a whole lot more than angry killers. So make yourself good and honest. I am always honest. Maybe not always good, but I'm always honest. My whole life I've been surrounded by fools with moral codes. Here's the moral code. Look out for folks. Stop trying to act like some hero in a book. What do you know about heroes in books? My reading's getting pretty good. <laughs> well, read different books then. The books is Jack's. And, well, maybe he's doing most of the reading, but still. You're a bad influence on your mother, Perfect. Who we do? What, what's going on here? Level six.
What is going on? Arthur? Is Arthur? What just happened here? Is Arthur uh, reincarnated? Well, or is this John? What just happened? Boy? Boy? I'm sorry, sir. What was that? I said an older you're voice. bad influence on your mother with your books. Which books was that? You know, that Teenage damn voice. novel. Uh, Boy Calloway and the men from the moon or whatever it was. I'll do my best to find better reading material, Pa. That what you like, then? Western tales? Boy, I'm confused. Do you uh, enjoy tales of the Wild West? Not so much. Anymore. I've been reading about knights. You know, of the round table. I'm sorry, I'm, King. I'm, I'm, What's his name? There's uh, King. I should stop playing. Uh, why am I playing? Uh... Uh, there was a picture of... Uh, what was that? Uh, story. Uh, where's the compendium? Uh, player. John. I thought that was a picture of Arthur. So the, the hat... Uh, I can't think, man. I shouldn't be playing uh, after that. Uh, Arthur gives his hat to John. Passing of the torch. So now we're playing as John? Well, that is Arthur. unexpected. And there's Sir Lancelot. And the Lady Guinevere. And a whole lot of others. Those names. I kind of like them. You know what? One of the best books you can possibly read is The Once and Future King. About King Arthur's King Arthur. Oh. <laughs> ah. King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Tale. I, I read that book at least three times when I was young. Probably, well, I was a little bit older than Jack here. I don't, why am I playing? I, I should stop. So do I. Stop because that was unsatisfying. It was. Why couldn't we kill Micah? Let us kill my let me kill Micah. Then then I'm okay if I die of TB after that. But you know I'm telling you, I'm gonna watch a video. I I, I mean on points, I won that fight. I, I don't know if I did something wrong and I, 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 I should have killed him. I mean, I, I punched him three to one, at least. I bet that sign says strawberry, don't it? I got a good feeling about this place. Been a long time. Years. Apparently years have gone by. Jack is a teenager. We are... Controlling John of all people, I never would have thought that. I would, I would prefer to be controlling Sadie or Charles. Why don't you pull up just here? I'm gonna go see what kind of good, honest work I can find. Grave digging or. Polishing some rich fella's boots or some such. Me too. <laughs> See if me and the boy can find some laundry work or something. See, I mean, I just, I just, I mean, from what our dealings were with John, I just kind of thought of him as kind of a weak sister, you know. You know, he's not. You know, he's, he's. You know, he's kind of a shadow of what Arthur it is was. Can't say was any. I gotta say was when I talk about Arthur. I should not be playing. I need to take a. I should. I turn the game off. What am I doing? Help you, son. I'm hoping I can help you. I saw the help wanted sign outside. Sure, but uh, you're a bit old to be stacking groceries and running errands, ain't you, son? Well, uh, What's age got I ain't too proud it? to do nothing, as long as it's honest and it pays. <laughs> 
Time's hard, Mr. Uh, Milton. Jim oh, Milton. Oh, he got it. Yeah. He can't tell My the truth. My wife and I and our boy, we was robbed mm. a few days ago. Lucky to get out with our lives, we oh, was. Lord. Now, uh, well, we need money. Yeah, there's <coughs> bad folk out there. Yeah, tell me about Not it. a wagon by any chance? Uh, sure. Well, then maybe you could run some goods up to Pronghorn Ranch for me. You know, uh, head west past Owen Gila, then follow the road north, lead you right there. I, I don't know where that is, but I'm sure I can find it. I can leave right now if you'd it, like. It's Getty's place. Fine fella. Uh, where's the wagon? It's just outside. Um, you know, I should go tell my wife, and then I can come back and get loaded. Well, my boys can load you up while you go find your wife. Okay. Uh, go to the doctor's office to meet with Abigail. Uh, doctor's office is where the X is, but ah, I'm just trying to lighten things for myself. I, where's the doctor's office? Dang it. Okay. We're going the right way. Uh, what am I doing? Why am I playing? Thank you, Doctor. Hey, <laughs> how you getting on? I well, found some work. Me too. Delivering goods Yay. out to some ranch. Cleaning a doctor's surgery. Yay! Fine living. It is, John. Oh, it is. This is the way to it. I'll take your word on that. What do you suggest now? I'll stay here and get on with the work. You deliver them goods and then collect me. She's excited okay. to have a job. John, I like it. I love you. Don't you forget oh that. Gosh. Not ever now. I won't. It's the first time in the whole game anybody has said that. To anybody. You know, I mean, Sadie said it about her husband. Return to your wagon. But she didn't say it to him because he was killed. But that was really okay. That's why I'm playing. I, 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 that's why I'm playing. Pretty good, Milton. Good, Milton. Why? You ride slow now. Gettys don't want his goods damaged. Of course. Do I have to push different buttons to get you up in the wagon. Why can't you get up in the wagon? With X? Y? Oh, it's Y. <laughs> oh, man. West past Owen Gila, then follow the road north. Okay. Yeah, Arthur was there many times. It's just, it's... Well, I guess what I need, I mean, I guess. I need to see that um, being successful because of Arthur's efforts. You know, if I can see them being successful, maybe I'll feel good. I mean, I don't feel good right now. whatsoever. Wow. Wow. Wow, no weapons whatsoever. Am I playing the same game? <laughs> what game am I playing? Beautiful scenery. Oh, and Jill. We go past it and north. Whoops. Whoops. The same old I can't Bobby say D. Much of a delivery boy. Driving wagons. 
Well, it's because I'm looking at the scenery, you guys. I'm enjoying that. It just seems like I should stop playing and pay homage to uh, the greatest character. Gaming history. Arthur. Maybe it's best. Move on and um, I can reflect once I something happy happens or something rewarding happens. Because the way it ended, you don't get yeah, much we'll get reward more. besides no one that he helped well this family and Tilly and who she's gonna help and Sadie and who Sadie's gonna help. Why am I doing this? I should stop recording and end it. I can't now. I mean, I've, I've gone into it this far. We gotta get to a place that of uh, closure. So when does this game end? When does this game end? I always just keep. This must be it. Mr. Geddes? No, sir. I'm Mr. Dickens, his overseer. Jim Milton. I'm delivering some supplies from the store in Strawberry. Okay. This is quite a place. Yes, it's beautiful. Oh. They send everything? Yeah, I think so. So, partner, your boss, he looking for hands? Why? You looking for work? Yeah. My wife, we was in business with her family and turned sour. It's a long story. Yeah, I don't know. Just keep lying. Married hands. It's a lot of trouble. I'm a good worker. My wife, Agatha, even our boy. Ag Lancelot. Lancelot. Big man around, boy? Get the hell out of here. <laughs> now, that ain't very neighborly. And threatening us is neighborly. <laughs> hey. Mind if I enjoy one of these apples? Put that down. <laughs> okay. Delicious. Oh. <laughs> When's uh, Boss Man gonna sell this place, boy? I don't think there's any plans for that. You boys want a drink? It's some fine scotch whiskey. Put that down. Put that down. Oh. He looks these like Arthur. for the season. Get off the farm. Come on. <laughs> we know when we're not wanted. Get down from there. <laughs> 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 Bye, bud. <laughs> you come back here. <laughs> you can use that horse. Go easy on him. We can't have trouble here. I got nothing. Ain't you special? That's my damn wagon! Good girl. Oh, shit! This one's got a stone oh. in his boot. I 
was fun. Hey. Thank you. Milton, isn't it? Those boys are out of Laramie. Work for Mr. Abel. Thank you. Don't mention it. Listen, I ain't looking for no charity or nothing, but I was serious. You got work? We'll work. I can do anything. We got... We got robbed ourselves a few days back. We ain't got married hands here. You're married. I work harder than any one of them. I'm real honest, and my wife, even though she's got fancy thoughts, She'll work. Seem kind of desperate. My phone keeps ringing. The trouble I am you in? Not answering it. I'm no trouble, sir. This. Aside from her brother, he tricked us and robbed her of her inheritance. We're good people. We'll work. Even Lancelot. Lancelot. What does Mr. Gettys need with a boy? Just another mouth to feed. Just please give us a chance. I can handle myself, okay? You know that already. Yeah. Makes me wonder just who would have robbed you. But. We'll give you a chance. I'll let Mr. Gettys know when him and his wife return tomorrow. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. I'll go get my wife. Nah, no, you stay here. It's getting late. We'll go get her in Strawberry. We'll bring her here tomorrow. We need you around in case any more of them Laramie boys turns up. There's a, a little cabin out yonder past the ranch house. Things work out, y'all can stay there. Thank you. You'll not regret this. Yep. Go get yourself settled. We'll have work for you tomorrow when Mr. Gettys returns. Okay. Home sweet home. Epilogue, part one. Okay. We're not done. Mission complete, the wheel. Reach Pronghorn without dropping any supplies. I did that. Reclaim the wagon within a minute. I didn't do that. I, I did that. Crap. What, what, what? Now we got yellow stuff flashing. We back in the game. Who is this? Tom Dickens. What's more, milking a cow? What are we doing? Abigail and Jack are digging to arrive at your cabin in Pronghorn Ranch. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's look at this map. We are not wanted anywhere. You see, I just... There he is. And why... Look at this. It's the same map. So it's a couple of years later. We're in Strawberry, settling down in Strawberry. I like it. <laughs> well, I'm glad we're not done. Uh, except I gotta be done. I mean, it's just too much. Um, it's just too much. And all these saves. I'm gonna end the video here because uh, so we started the day right here on the King's Sun. Is that where we started? What a ride. What a ride. So I'm gonna end, I gotta end it. And I got, that was too much, uh, too much. And bravo, game writers, uh, code writers, developers, bravo, bravo. And I, uh, I mean, what, what a superb, but <laughs> And I wasn't feeling good. I'm feeling good now because the game, because it ain't over. I can keep going. Uh, I don't know what to say. 
Thank you all for watching. Uh, Y'all take care of yourselves. And I have thoughts, uh, but I need a break from the game probably for a day or two. I don't know. Uh, Thank you. Thank you all very, very much. I do appreciate it. And we'll catch you on the next one. Take care of yourself.